going to be doing a requested video, which is the springtime tag. And I figured I better do this before spring is over. So I'm getting to it today. So I just have the questions on my phone, so I'll just go ahead and answer them for you. The first one is, spring means glowing skin. What do you do for healthy glowing skin? The healthy part, I have been using my Rodan and Field Soothe Line and my Unblemish to keep my skin as clear as possible. I feel like it's looking pretty good and I feel like when I can control the bumps when I put my makeup on, it makes my skin look so much healthier. Also, I feel like it moisturizes my skin better so I don't get like the dry flakes that I will normally sometimes get. And as I'm getting older, my skin has changed a little bit and so it's been nice to have a little bit more oil on my skin and I feel like that helps it kind of look glowy. I've gotten used to wearing a little less foundation than I used to use and when my skin was really bad, I caked it on so much so it's like the healthier my skin is, the better and clearer it is, the less red it is, the less foundation I have to wear and then I can get away with like a more dewy foundation. Like today I'm wearing the NARS Sheer Glow and I like that it's just giving me a more natural, not like dewy finish, but a natural radiant finish instead of just like the super cakey matte makeup that I used to have to wear. And so I feel like that makes it look better. Also, get that highlight girl. So today I actually have two highlights on. Right down here onto the apple of my cheek, I have my ColourPop Wisp, which is in my project pan, and then to brighten things up a little bit, a highlight topper, if you will, I have the color pop monster. So that's kind of up here, just giving it that little bit of the purple glow, which I am really liking. And let's see, I also just I have a lot of highlighters I love. I love my Becca skin highlighter. This is in um Champagne pop and as I get a little tanner this will look even better because it'll just pop a little bit more I just really like highlighters, so I don't think you can go wrong with that What is the first beauty thing you think of when the weather warms up? I honestly would say just wearing brighter colors wearing brighter lipsticks wearing brighter eyeshadows and Yeah, I just say color color in general is what I think of number three What is your favorite part of spring most definitely the flowers? We just went to Thanksgiving Point yesterday. Was it yesterday? Oh my gosh, time has gone by so fast. Yesterday I went to Thanksgiving Point and they have a beautiful tulip garden and they actually import the tulips from Holland and they were amazing and I just, I love the flowers. I love smelling them. That is totally my favorite part. Do you do your hair differently in the spring? Kind of, I just went lighter for the spring. So I, I guess I do. I go a little bit lighter in the spring, in the summer, versus in the winter I had my hair a little darker, a little bit more ombre. But as far as styling goes, I don't really style it that much different. Pretty much the same. Sometimes I do it curled, sometimes I just do it straight like this. So what clothing item are you most excited to wear? I love floral prints, so I'm wearing my little, um, what do you call these? I don't know. Those like, almost like robe things. The word for it is totally slipping my mind. Pregnancy brain, I tell you. But yes, floral prints, um, little floral baby doll dresses, I just, I like wearing florally things and flowers and all that, so that's what I'm excited for. What is your favorite springtime smell or fragrance? I would say tulip smells or flower smells is my favorite, but if you can't have that, I would go with the DKNY Be Delicious. This is the Fresh Blossom, and this is a very flowered scent. Ah, oh, this smell just reminds me of spring. I haven't been able to wear perfume for the past four months. Any kind of strong smells made me feel sick, and so I haven't been able to wear perfume. So like, smelling this, and now that I feel so much better, it's like, oh, I'm excited to wear it and feel springy and smell like a flower and look like a flower. <laughs> look at the flowers. Okay, favorite springtime lipstick. I was actually gonna put this on before the video, but I didn't, and I like a really bright pink. Oh no, I took it with me, it's in my bag. So I was going to say that my favorite was the wifey color from ColourPop, but I have this color in buds and this will have to do, so I'm gonna put this on. I love wearing a hot pink lip. It just makes me feel happy and bright. Favorite springtime nail color. So I just went through my nail polish and I was just like, which nail polish most makes me think of spring? And the color I picked was too taboo and I'll give you a swatch of my nail. I haven't painted my nails very recently. I'm kind of slacking there. I've been doing a lot of gel, but I think I might paint my nails with this because it is so freaking pretty. Well, that's the color. So again, it's kind of matches my lips. It's a hot purpley pink color, so very, very beautiful. And the last question, number nine, which don't ask me why there's only nine questions, but there is, 
is what is spring like where you live? I live in Utah, so on any given day, you could have completely different weather. So like I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of spring flowers coming out, lots of like fruit trees blooming and things like that, but we'll have days where it's 75 and you wanna wear shorts and you wanna go outside. And then you have days where it's like torrential downpours, which it's what it's been like lately. Um, when I was coming home from my brother's wedding, we had to drive through a canyon and it started snowing and it was terrifying and I cried because I was so scared <laughs> because there wasn't a lot of light on the road and there wasn't a lot of reflectors and I felt like we couldn't see anything. Luckily I wasn't driving, my husband was, but <laughs> anyway. So we could be married of things. You could have different weather at any time of the day. You can have it sunny and then it gets cloudy and rainy and then hail comes and then the next day is warm. So we just kind of always joke that the weather can always change here. So don't put away your boots too quick because it can always snow in Utah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have a channel, I'd love to see your video. You can leave me a link to your video down below and I will go watch it. If you haven't done it yet, what are you waiting for? There's only a few weeks left to do this before school's out. So get to it. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye.